Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Nerve. The best way for me to describe Nerve is Unfriended, the horror film from last year, meets pretty much any coming of age story that you've watched, meets a Nicholas Winden Reffin film. And when you mix those three ingredients together, you get a pretty fun ride. I was overall really satisfied with Nerve. So the main thing that this film has going for it is that I think it really is accessible to its target audience. This is definitely a movie for teenagers and I think it has great messaging for teenagers about playing in these games or getting involved in some of this, you know, hot mess on the internet, as well as providing a thriller that is still age appropriate for your teenage kids. I don't think it ever goes too far. It never gets out of hand. None of the content is explicit to the point where your children can't watch what's happening. Everything that's done here is done in a way that they can watch it and be really excited by it. So I think it's great to have a thriller like this aimed at a teenage audience and actually be accessible to said audience. I thought the acting was very solid here. Emma Roberts has, has really grown on me recently and I thought she was very good. Dave Franco was also very good in his role. And all of our supporting cast was also strong with, with the exception of like one or two characters who were eh, but most of the actors do deliver. And the script and storytelling also deliver because I thought that there were plenty of real world thrills. I don't think the film ever necessarily goes to places you're not totally expecting it to go because overall it's pretty predictable, but it's still a fun and thrilling ride to get from point A to point B. I also really liked the directing style. I think that this new on-camera trend can be very hit or miss. I actually found it to be pretty effective in Unfriended. And it mixes that very newish style with the artsy colors and shots of something like a Nicholas Winding Refn film. But thanks to just the subject matter and a broader <laughs> sense of movie making, it feels much more accessible and it doesn't feel quite as pretentious as I find Nicholas Winding Greffin's work. But I also think the technological aspects of this film, just like Unfriended, are going to make it immediately dated. This isn't going to be able to be a breakfast club where it's an instant classic and it's revisited generation to generation. No, they're going to look back at this and be like, oh gosh, what were you all thinking back in 2016? It just isn't going to hold up well. And as I said, for being a thriller, it is very predictable. It just kind of goes through the motions. It never really bothers taking any sort of storytelling risks, although the characters on the screen are taking these huge risks with their lives. We are never presented with any sort of daring filmmaking here. And that's really the downfall of the film. So while it is fun while you're watching it, it's just forgettable. We're not going to remember Nerve even came out this year by the time 2017 rolls in. But for a recommendation, I think, especially if you have teenage kids, go take them to see this. And even if you're not accompanying them, this is totally safe for your teenagers to go watch by themselves with their friends on a Friday night. And I think this is a great Friday or Saturday night movie for a teenage audience. I think they'll get a kick out of it. And again, it has really strong messaging about more safety with internet and games and all of this hoopla that goes on that parents aren't really up to date with. As for adults, I also think you're gonna really enjoy the message and it's thrilling enough. I think this is worth a matinee price just in general, regardless of who you are. So that has been my review of Nerve. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Nerve? And what is your favorite use of on-screen social media? Let me know either in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!